East Bombali district in the northern region. Warm greetings and pleasant welcome to this edition of Global Multimedia Online TV Daily World News, where we unfold and present issues that make headlines within the country and the continent. Kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates and please stay with us for the next few minutes. I am your presenter, it is Jerry. In commemoration of the World Diabetes Day, Mankind Initiative for Sustainable Human Empowerment Development measured in collaboration with CITO Globe, have embarked on a free screening mass community sensitization and awareness raising campaign on diabetes. This campaign has been enacted in four locations, including Matutuka, Kenema, Makeni, and Kono. Today, at the Day Chemtil Hall, Makeni, Youths, nurses, and diabetes positive patients were gathered to be taught on the causes, prevention, and management strategies on the diabetes. Legendary reporter on the ground. The 13th November is marked as the World Diabetes Day, in which many organizations that span its thematic priority in health join the rest of the world in commemorating it mostly by educating and accelerating awareness on diabetes. In lieu of this, City Globe Limited, in collaboration with Mankind's Initiative for Sustainable Human Empowerment, Michel Sierra Leone, has embarked on a free screening, mass community sensitization, and awareness raising event on the widely spreading illness, diabetes, at the DHMT Hall, McKinney. Victims of diabetes, youth, and nurses were gathered at the District Health Management Team Hall so the message of diabetes could be shared with the aim of reducing its massive increase in effect on people. My, so if you cook, you get cool vegetables there in the market, get beans, you get all kinds of beans, you get all kinds of green foods there. So if you prepare it with small oil, with small fish, so fish, then bulgur, instead of rest all the time, beans instead of rest, fish as I mentioned, and also red meat, the red meat with fat, bokubak, not too healthy, because they cause other health issues there. This event housed dignitaries ranging from the district health officer of the northern region, the youth chairman, and members of Michel SL. Dr. Mana Gazawe, the CEO of City Globe Limited, was the keynote speaker who gracefully taught those present about the signs and symptoms of diabetes, its causes, prevention, and management strategies. Then also the CSA, the CSA, the UI not clarified, the fine. Well, not me saying that if you know the C5, you may say that diabetes, but you will be saying the eye problem. So, how you didn't know say pus in your diabetes? If I do tests, one of the tests that the one who don't do so far now, now then call random blood sugar test. That you just to check the sugar level right now. And you get all that test there if I don't fast, you go to lab and check out for you. So if you need for no sugar level. As a diabetic, somebody get diabetes, the sugar level for day between four to seven. So, what in the cause this diabetes? Hmm? Especially type two diabetes, as I mentioned. Type two diabetes is because if you know it's a person fat, get boku body, you eat all kind of food. All kind of food were not good for her. Like soft drink, boku biscuit, chocolate, then fried fried foods then. Every food we eat are just the fried one. We get high fat, boku rest, eating rest every day, every day, three times a day back no good. This session was that of an interactive one, as those present were opportune to ask questions and raise their concerns. In an interview, the executive director of Misha the Cell, Mohamed Sansi, talked on their intention for hosting short an event. So we thought of it um, as youth then, um, we um, developmentally oriented, let me come up with such an initiative for we partner with um, Dr. Manawi and City Group of Mercy. Well, we raise our awareness and also be free screening for people there. We they go for free of course. You come listen, we tell you what everything you for do for let you know, let you know we'll get diabetes. One amongst the many beneficiaries, Pasheku Dabo, expressed his heartfelt gratitude. 
as free screening was done for the attendees and they were left with a charge to ensure that the message about diabetes should be spread and in turn lives will be saved i am john imbade bangura reporting for global multimedia online tv daily room news in another development rainbow initiative in collaboration with partners has opened the newly established rainbow center of excellence in bombali district which has been officially launched here in McKinney, also follow up with the official launching of Community of Practice, COP. The key partners including Ministry of Social Welfare, OSIWA, COP, Trocare, and European Union. As to the marks, day one of the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, our reporter, Aisa to Daniela Kamara, files in this report. Women and girls had been facing numerous challenges of sexual and gender-based violence in different parts of the country, in which Sierra Leone is not an exception. As today, the 25th of November 2020, the Rainbow Initiative, in collaboration with Irish Aid, OSIWA, Ministry of Social Welfare and Partners, has opened the newly established Rainbow Center of Excellence and the official launching of the Bombali District of Community Practice, COP. In line with the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence at the regional government hospital McKinney. The center aims at providing, capacitating, and encouraging women and girls who are going through sexual and gender-based violence and putting the perpetrators to book. Indeed, as the saying goes, a journey of a thousand steps starts with the first. The first step was taken when the first rainbow was opened in Freetown in 2003. And today, we are witnessing the opening of another of five centers of excellence. We have one in Kono, Panama, Bo, Freetown. The Rainbow Centers are centers where survivors of sexual and gender-based violence can access free, quality, medical, psychosocial, and legal services. And to date, the five centers since inception have provided these services to over 35,000 women, girls, and boys. To give you an idea of the statistics, the total statistics for the five centers from January to October so far, we have actually provided service to 2,978 survivors. 2,797 of them were sexual assault, and 181 of them were physical assault. And sadly, 452 of them were pregnant. McKinney statistics. To date, since open, it's just, just about two years, we have actually provided service to 690 survivors. January to October of this year alone, we have provided service to 341 survivors. 236 of them were sexual assault and 105 were physical assault and 72 of them were pregnant. The youngest they've seen in McKinney so far was one year and four months and the oldest was a hundred year old lady. The youngest that we have ever seen was a three weeks old. And McKinney has beat the gun by having a, the oldest been a hundred years. Parents, pupils, students, ambassadors from the Embassy of Ireland in Sierra Leone and different delegates. I told them, we just want to focus on sexual gender-based violence. It's not another group just to cause confusion. It's for us to go and see 
speak out, stand up, push and pull. We want to see implementation. We've seen all the laws, the policies, the protocols. Nothing is happening. Our girls are suffering, women are suffering, midnight. Uh, they call upon me, I had to go do night rescue. But when he went to the FSU, it's a dead case. To mention my deepest appreciation to His Excellency, Brigadier Retired Julius Madabio, for his exemplary leadership demonstrated by waging a war on sexual and gender-based violence in the country, making it topical in today's Sierra Leone. 16 days of activism against sexual and gender-based violence is an advocacy human rights event that focuses on eliminating violence against women. In our endeavor to empower young women and girls against SGBV, evidence of this is seen in the increased support to appropriate institutions to heighten campaign against sexual and gender-based violence. On the legislative front, the Sexual Offenses Act of 2012 has been reviewed as a way of strengthening the law to combat sexual and gender-based violence through meeting out stringent punishment to perpetrators, providing support to survivors, establishment of court system to expedite such matters, etc. During the occasion, a performance was made by the Rainbow Outreach Interns by the sole aim of educating children and parents on the problems and actions to be taken if faced with sexual and gender-based violence. The initiative was openly embraced by different organizations and ready to work with Rainbow to see how best women and girls' rights can be enacted. Reporting for Global Multimedia Online TV Daily Home News, I am Aisatu Danela Kamara. The Minister of Youth Affairs was today in McKinney Township for the turning of soil of the ongoing construction of a multi-purpose car wash. This building will be having a car wash, a machine center, a refreshing hall, a barbing shop, and a lot more, according to the Minister. This program was graced with several stakeholders, resident minister, mayor, both in representatives, paramount chief, police, councillors, etc. Let's have an highlight of this event. I want to tell all the young people in Makini plenty thank you for the wonderful welcome we're in giving. And today, this is not just one of the things that we are done to Makini. Other things in the world don't do much anyway, people don't know. If I come now, I will tell you now the meaning. The new direction where people vote for, also the new direction. <laughs> what thing are the meaning of the new direction? When they say new direction, the new direction means doing things differently. When they say new direction, I don't let do something different from what the other man let me do. They do. Adani Imi. And with flagship program, the new direction which will be the push and human capital development. How His Excellency the President, retired Brigadier Julius Mother be able to find them? He said you have to feed the brain, to feed the delay, and it's time for be very healthy. On that note, I want if you don't be 22nd car wash, 30 years ago, every year we ask. Then let's see, all the side of the in this country, they all for don't get. So development that process. Yeah. The change will not proceed automatically. Yeah? I do. I do. No, you don't get it. don't get it. don't get it. don't get it. On behalf of President Bio, and the blessing way he give me for serve as a Minister of Youth, Hello? the Ladies Foundation, for the young people know say, no matter your status, no matter what you say, President Bio gets you in a heart. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is all we have time for in today's edition of Global Multimedia Online TV Daily Room News. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Do have a wonderful day and a productive week. I have been your presenter, Elisa J. Cheers. This is Bombali District in the Northern Region.
and we go off our comfort zone to source the news. And this is Global Multimedia Online TV.